Okay, good morning and welcome to worship at Faith Lutheran Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, we ask that you um, keep your microphones muted so you can follow along with our spoken responses and sing along with our hymns. And um, if you haven't already done so, please email Allison any updates to the directory. And um, with that, I will turn it over to Ruth Anderson. Good morning. It's quite a change in the weather this week from the week before, isn't it? Karen Palmer sent me a picture of these pretty purple flowers that were coming out of the ice and snow. And uh, it was just a reminder that spring and new life are on the way. So I just thank God for those little glimpses into that new life. Um, that new life, we're thankful too for the vaccines that are coming now. We hope that'll give us all new life as well. And we'll remember in our prayers this morning, um, all those on our prayer list and on our hearts who are still uh, facing challenges and sickness. Uh, especially we remember Lisa Havard and of course, Jim and Maudie, as Jim continues to um, recuperate and gain strength, and all the healthcare workers who are taking care of them. Um, looking ahead to the end of Lent, I have an announcement. Um, the choir is putting together a special service for Good Friday. So plan to be there for some beautiful music and beautiful word. And also for Palm Sunday, look for an announcement soon uh, with the directions, but uh, there's something you'll be able to do so you can participate in our Palm Sunday. It's a pretty complicated um, craft project that Nia has brought to us, not really. So um, there'll be directions coming and uh, Becky Webb said she would leave some green paper out um, in the narthex for people that want to drop by church and get some so they can make their palms for Palm Sunday. We'd love everybody to participate. Um, this morning as we gather, um, it is the second Sunday in Lent. And ready or not, even though it seems we've just begun the Lenten season, today we come face to face with the cross. Just like uh, Peter in today's gospel, we may not be ready to face the sin that the cross exposes or the suffering that Jesus must endure. In this world and in our lives, we do know something about suffering, but through faith, we also know something about God's promises that we're not alone in our sin and in our trials, that Jesus understands our suffering and that Jesus will be with us in all our suffering and in all of our joys as well. So we continue our Lenten journey during our worship and during the week. Let's look for those signs and reminders that Jesus is close, walking with us and showing us his love. We continue with our worship. It is the Holy Spirit of God that calls us together as the people of God.
Let the people join together with our prayers for confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the keeper of the covenant, the source of steadfast love, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. God hears us when we cry and draws us close in Christ Jesus. Let us return to the one who is full of compassion. A time of silence. Fountain of living water. Pour out your mercy over us. Our sin is heavy and we long to be free. Rebuild what we have ruined and mend what we have torn. Wash us in your cleansing flood. Make us alive in the spirit to follow in the way of Jesus as healers and restorers of the world you so love. Amen. Beloved, God's word never fails. The promise rests on grace. By the saving love of Jesus Christ, the wisdom and the power of God, your sins are forgiven and God remembers them no more. Journey in the way of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our gathering song is Jesus, Keep Me Near the Cross.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with, with you. you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. continue with the litany of praise by reading Psalm 22 responsively. You who fear the Lord give praise. All you of Jacob's line give glory. Stand in awe of the Lord, all you offspring of Israel. For the, the Lord, Lord does, does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty. Neither is the Lord's face hidden from them. But when they cry out, the Lord hears them. From you comes my praise in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the sight of those who fear the Lord. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Let those who seek the Lord give praise. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of nations shall bow before God. For dominion belongs to the Lord, who rules over the nations. Indeed, all who sleep in the earth shall bow down in worship. All who go down to the dust, though they be dead, shall kneel before the Lord. Their descendants shall serve the Lord whom they shall proclaim to generations to come. They shall proclaim God's deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying to them, the Lord has acted. And now let us pray. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us, the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, Lord. To you, O Lord. Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering 
and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And now let us pray. O Lord, let the meditations of our hearts, the words of my mouth, the working of your love in and through your people, the church of Jesus Christ, be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our hope, our Redeemer, and our friend. Amen. This morning, as Bill and I approached Faith Church, we had to drive across the bridge, and then we, we hit 630. You all know the route, and you hit the... 630, which is the east-west freeway across Little Rock, and, and as we approach the exit, which is the, the Mississippi exit, essentially, uh, as we approach that, Bella and I can't do that without remembering that 20 years ago, 20 years ago this year, we... Uh, We had a horrible car wreck right there. And we can't pass that way without remembering this. This horrible car wreck that we had needs to be understood in light of today's gospel, I suspect. <laughs> because that car wreck happened in the midst of the best plans that I think we'd ever made. Bell and I had just recently been married. We'd only been married for six months. And, and in honor of that marriage, in honor of that plan that we had together, we bought an Airstream trailer, an old used one that needed a lot of fixing up, but we were going to do it, or I was going to do it, and, and, and then I got the prize of a lifetime. If you know me, you know how important this is. I found a 1978 Chevrolet truck with a 327 cubic inch engine that was in perfect condition except for the body. The truck only had 18,000 miles on it. 18,000 miles on a truck that was over 20 years old. It was a truck that was bought by a guy who did this with a whole, a whole stable of vehicles in which he had bought these cars. And then he drove them for a couple of years and then he parked these vehicles in his yard and 
he did this for years and years until finally he had a yard full of really, really great used cars, but they were 20 years old, some of them older. And, and I got this for a song. I mean, I bought it for a song, y'all. It was just great. And I had it completely refurbished in every way except for the paint job. And it, we had it outfitted to pull the Airstream trailer. And we were in business. I'm talking about really in business for the rest of our lives. And then Bell was diagnosed with cancer. And she had to have a massive surgery. And we stayed in our house following that surgery in a recovery that finally led us to the very first day we were going to emerge into our new life. And it was Thanksgiving Day, a hard day to forget. And we went and had dinner at Bell's brother's house with the whole family. And it was her first day following her surgery to see everyone and for everyone to be with her. And we had a great time and it was a great get together. And then that evening, just before dark, as we were driving back on the 630 East West Highway across Little Rock, just before you get to the exit, whereby you can go to Faith Lutheran Church. There were two cars ahead of me and a, and a highway where, where almost no cars were. It was a really, really desolate evening for traffic. But there were two cars ahead of me. And there was a woman ahead of them that I could not see. We were all in the middle lane traveling about 55 miles an hour. And the first car peeled to the left. And the second car peeled to the right. And I went straight up the middle into the back of a car that had run out of fuel in the middle lane of the freeway at 55 miles an hour. We were... We were devastated. <laughs> Our truck, my new 78 Chevy truck, was devastated. The ambulance came almost right away. The fire truck came from everywhere. The police were on the scene before we almost knew it. Bell and I were put in the ambulance and we were taken to the hospital. We were taken to UAMS. And and we were so concerned this would be a tragedy that, that we could not recover from because she was just now recovering from surgery. Well, our best laid plans were over. My truck that pulled the trailer was ruined. Our hope to travel and to be carefree, retired people was over. All of the things that we wanted to be true were no longer true. All the things that we laid plans for were no longer in the plan for us. For our lives had been interrupted by the truth, by the truth of what real life is really about. I think this helps us get into the mind of Peter. We can't fully get into the mind of Peter, but it helps us get into the mind of Peter, whose best laid plans for life may have included following Jesus 
on to glory. But he didn't get to follow Jesus to the glory that he expected at all. When Jesus spoke openly, when Jesus spoke openly about the reality of what it was to be a human being, when Jesus spoke openly about what it was to be in God's presence, what Peter was talking about was a, what was a glory that we could only understand to be success. And when Jesus spoke openly about the outcome of his life being the cross, Peter said, this is the mind of Peter, Peter said, no way. No way can that be so. Peter contradicted Jesus. Peter, Peter said, uh, he said something like, come on, Jesus, have a more positive attitude about things. Or maybe the mind of Peter was, oh, come on, Jesus, you know I've got this sword. You know that I can take on all the adversaries that might try to arrest you. We don't know for sure about the mind of Peter. We know that the best laid plans of Peter were in question. And that Jesus sought to straighten Peter out. The disciples had overheard what Jesus had said. The disciples had overheard what Peter had said. And then Jesus said the faded words. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. Satan, get thee behind me. Now that should give us some news. Just because Jesus says you're acting and thinking a lot like Satan doesn't mean it's the end of your ministry. <laughs> Instead, Jesus was pointing out what indeed Peter had done and what the disciples were doing because they couldn't get it. That the disciples were standing in the way of what God was doing in the life and in the death and in the resurrection of God's Son. It's an amazing thing that the best laid plans of humanity look like success. But the best laid plans of God might end in success, but they go by way of the valley of the shadow of death. This is the gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our hymn of the day is God Loved the World.
now let us continue in worship through the recitation of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the prayer of intercession. Let us pray. Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. Heavenly Father, your gift of grace is for all people. Give confident faith to all the baptized that they may follow you wholeheartedly. Give new believers joy in your promises. Give hope and courage to those who suffer for their faith. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Gracious Lord, all the ends of the earth worship you. From galaxies to microorganisms, preserve your creation. Teach humanity to wonder at your works and to join you in tending to creation's well-being. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Holy Father, you rule over the nations. Raise up advocates for peace and justice within and between nations. Give life where hope seems dead. Call into existence new realities we cannot even imagine. Hear us, O oh God. Mercy is great. Gracious Lord, in Jesus, you joined humanity in suffering and death. Reveal to all the depth of your love shown on the cross. Accompany all who suffer in body and mind and spirit. Restore all who are sick or grieving. Bring vindication for victims of injustice, exploitation, and oppression. Hear us, O oh God. Mercy is great. Blessed Redeemer, you made Abraham and Sarah the ancestors of a multitude of nations. Bless grandparents, parents, and foster parents, and the children who, took, who look to them for care and guidance. Console those who deal with infertility, parents who have entrusted their children to adoption, and children longing to be adopted. Equip ministries and services to families. Hear us, O oh God. Mercy is great. Holy Father, we will await the day of Christ's coming in glory. Lead us by the example of all the saints whom you have called to take up their cross and follow you, that together we may find our lives in you. Hear us, O God. Mercy is great. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also, and also with you. you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. You call your people to cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that renewed in the gift of baptism, we may come to the fullness of your grace. And so with all the choir of angels and with the with the church on earth and with the hosts of heaven. We praise your name and we join their unending hymn. are indeed holy, almighty and merciful God. You are most holy and great is the majesty of your glory. You so love the world that you gave your only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. We give you thanks for his coming into the world to fulfill for us your holy will and to accomplish all things for our salvation. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took the bread. He gave thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks. He gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Remembering, therefore, his salutary command, his life-giving passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension, and the promise of his coming again, we give thanks to you, O Lord God Almighty, not as we ought, but as we are able. We ask you mercifully to accept our praise and thanksgiving and with your word and Holy Spirit to bless us, your servants, and these, your own gifts of bread and wine. So that we and all who share in the body and blood of Christ may be filled with the heavenly blessing and grace and receiving the forgiveness of sin may be formed to live as your holy people and be given our inheritance with all your saints. To you, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory in your holy church, now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. 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 And now let us pray together as our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your, your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your, your will, will be done. Be done on earth, earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us today, today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins, sins as we, we forgive, forgive those who sin, sin against us. us. Save, Save us from the time of trial and, and deliver us from evil. evil. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours, 
now no, and, and forever. forever. Amen. amen. And amen. Let the people come to the banquet, for all is now ready. body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Body of Christ given for you. Amen. And now let us pray the prayer after communion. God of steadfast love at this table, you gather your people into one body for the sake of the world. Send us then in the power of your spirit that our lives bear witness to the love that has made us new. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen. 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 Let the people receive a blessing. You are what God made you to be, created in Christ Jesus for good work, chosen as holy and beloved, freed to serve your neighbor. May God bless you that you may be a blessing. In the name of the holy and the life-giving Trinity. Amen. Our sending song is, In the Cross of Christ I Glory.
Well, in the name of Jesus Christ, we've gathered together to worship God. And so, let the people go in peace and share the good news. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. loves me this I know cause the Bible tells me so little one help me long and they are we Yes, Jesus loves me Yeah, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me Well, the Bible tells me so Well, the Bible Jesus loves me He who died For my sin was crucified What does take My sin I find Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Bible tells me so. Whoa.